and welcome for the very first time to the Dynamo, my friends. <clears throat> now, Football Manager, a game that is essentially spreadsheets. Ironically, my favorite part of the whole game is the spreadsheets that control the spreadsheets. So I want to take you through the editor itself and introduce you to what I consider to be probably the most fulfilling and worthwhile part of the entire experience because like after a while, two or three years of playing through clubs and kind of like getting the most out of them you can, you start wanting some challenges involved in that and creating or fixing leagues that you think are broken can be one of those ways of doing it. Now, I'm Irish, so my league is a utter hot steaming mess. So trying to fix the League of Ireland is just one of those things that I really like doing. Um, let's let's run through like the basics because this is probably going to be like a multi-part series just because i want to go through like the basic setup of how to get the editor kind of like organized to get your flow so that you know what you're doing and kind of like you don't get confused by all the different things over towards like advanced rules because the advanced rules can be quite intimidating but the longer you spend in them the more intuitive it starts making sense the um the biggest piece of advice i can give anyone about advanced rules is Nine, of every, nine out of every ten options will be left off. <clears throat> okay, first things first. If you don't know where the editor is, go to Steam. If it's not in games, first thing you want to do is go to Tools. Now, I have mine installed. If you don't see it here, you might have to click that button up here. Show uh, only ready to play games. You go down, Football Manager, it'll be here in your editor. Now, I'm not going to go through the effort of installing it because, hey presto, I already have it installed. <clears throat> So, um, hold on, let me, let me get a little bit of music going on here. Okay. So, first things first. <clears throat> All their Sports Interactive version 24, um, or 21. You have the different options here. This basically is whether or not you want to in involve the January update. When you first get the game, you're only going to have this option. As the January update and kind of like the February or March updates come out, you're going to get the, the, the updates. I'm going to go with the current update because um, it includes, um, in Ireland, a new team came in called Treaty United to replace uh, Limerick FC. So I just, I want them involved. We'll open this up. <coughs> okay. Now, the editor, it's familiarity. You're just going to have to get used to this thing. It can be intimidating the first few times you come in here. But you, you just have to get used to it. Unfortunately, is one of those things. First thing, start from the bottom. The bottom, at the bottom. Start from the top left-hand corner and it kind of like descends outwards in that diagonal in terms of importance. The very beginning, file. Get used to just, I'm going to call this Irish Data Base version 1. Save maybe every 15 minutes because one of the things that'll happen to you is you might make a change. There is no undo in the editor. If you want to undo something, you have to manually undo what you've done. So you might mess something up or not really know what the old settings were. If you don't have uh, editor data that you can load, you're going to be lost. So you have load database. First thing you'll always do is you load your database. We've already done this. At the very beginning, you won't have databases, uh, editor data. These are kind of like changes. You won't have any of these to load, but these will become something you'll use the more you use it. Towards rules, we'll be getting to this in a moment, but you don't touch the rules yet. This is like my system. I try to organize the database into a way that I want it. Then I go after creating rules. Edit. Um, if you want to remove player loans, injuries, bans, randomized kits, uh, handy little ways of just kind of like cleaning up the database for like a fresh challenge or something like that and then you have add advanced rules features that will be highlighted when you go into advanced rules which comes from nation rules or continental rules or international rules we're getting ahead of ourselves so i'm going to introduce you later challenges i won't be covering challenges today i don't actually use challenges so i will have to learn how they work i might even incorporate that into the series but settings this can be a handy one because currency switch to whatever you're comfortable using. I'm going to open up Euro because that's what I'm familiar with. Wages, weekly, again, whatever you tend to have your settings in game is what I'd recommend having for the editor. Um, one thing I'll say is for, uh, where is this? Uh, maximum records. I have it on a limited because I just wanted to give me everything. This might slow down your editor, might depending on how good your computer is. So uh, with caution, a thousand is fine, but I have mine unlimited. So now menu, this little box here. 
you have file which is just basically your details test competitions i don't personally use this one you can go rules test rules that's what i do personally database this is where you're going to spend most of your time this box is basically a search box you do these to kind of like fine tooth and um kind of like um like oh there's a term for it, like fine tune your searches like um like here we go. if i look for agreement number of changes say at least one name i don't know contains the letter l if you apply filter none of them are found what if i go or none of them are found okay so now let's check apply there you go yeah so there's european union european economic area blah 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 blah, blah. if you double click into them this screen is where most of kind of like the editable things do and over here is kind of like a menu so i'm just going to take us back to the database we're going to be working in ireland so what i'm going to do is database clubs add condition nation ireland republic of ireland northern ireland i'm working mainly in the republic so we're going to open that one so now this is where again most of the information is displayed here is kind of like the hierarchy of the tree to understand like where everything is going here are your fine tuning uh, fine tuning and here is where you kind of like move between things directly beneath database will be the last thing you have looked into like because if i go back to database clubs if i go into shamrock rovers that is now shamrock rovers database shamrock rovers another handy thing is down here this will open up all of the different things i've opened so i can go back here to european union where this can get very useful is um say i'm in let's go to competitions let's open up nations again ireland and i want to go into the uh, uh no uh ah, fuck yeah why not the uh the, no there's nothing in the h championship of course there isn't we'll go erdressly league so teams bohemians uh whoops electricity cork city now i can just go back to like the electricity league cork city shamrock rovers or i can just cycle through them like this that can be handy at times but anyway like i said the first thing that i like to do is just to kind of like a clean slate so what i will be doing is because i want to start from scratch a new database for the irish league if you go in here now there's 342 teams there is more than that in ireland and i would just want to show you how we can get at that Base donation, Continental Cup nation. Contains Republic of Ireland. Republic. Nope. Go or, or, apply filter. Now, that's 651 teams. Now, a lot of these are like extinct teams. Um, how you can find that if you go add, extinct is a yes. So 308 of these teams are considered extinct. That's like a B club, um, the Oil Limerick FC, Wexford United. Now some of these, because like um, like if you had a team that went defunct, um, it'll be in here. Like um, like there's a few like no city. A lot of them won't have city, so they may not organise it correctly. Um, here we go. Go by Limerick. Like um, no, they don't thought i might have had it okay because it's um we'll go like um search by name Ugh. hey everyone does that sometimes if you just if it's not specific enough it just won't find anything for you but anyway, yeah look um so the first thing that i always do is just to maximize my playthings, and because like you can skip this next step if um generic badges don't bother you they annoy the ever-loving absolute shit out of me so i have to get rid of them um generic badges like if you have your um what are they called um the logo packs um do i have do i have one load up here i don't know unfortunately um if you have logo packs um you can kind of like download logo packs for all the different teams but they need to be kind of like assigned to a unique id so some teams will have logos some teams won't it really bothers me when i have like a team with a logo against a team without a logo so the one of the first things i do is like i just generate a database with everything and i go in and i basically prune what i need from there because like we'll go edit and the reason i want to show you this is because this is a really handy tip for mass editing 
we'll go back and do that again just so you might have missed it because i didn't really explain it click anywhere doesn't matter where Control a selects everything down here you don't want to duplicate you don't want to remove you don't want to add you want to edit and when you go into editing this is now i'm going to be changing some of the variables involved in here you see here 651 clubs details for 651 clubs i've selected all of these teams now these all appear blank because they don't share something in common what's in white is the stuff that there are entries for that are in common and now this is a really handy feature with the 2021 editor back it just used to these all we might need to figure it out ownership uh, now we'll go to finances yeah they all have a balance of zero competitions they all have a last division set for zero um, a lot of these they won't share something and that's a key a key thing because what you want to do is you now want them to share some things go into division none now that might take a while to actually kick in because it's to edit 651 clubs and what we're going to do is we're going to assign them to a random division irish lower division is the one that i usually do search um nation contains ireland um i know it's near the bottom Nation, irish lower division And now what this is going to do is it's going to put all of those teams into that lower division. So if I go back into lower division, teams, it's got all 651 of them. Teams for next season, um, you can ignore this. This is basically like some, um, uh, some leagues, uh, if they have summer leagues, when you load into kind of like a, a winter league, uh, some summer leagues will already kind of be into their league. So teams for next season will be if it has like a later start date. So you'd uh, like, you might have, um, I don't know how to explain it off the top of my head, but nine times out of 10, you can just ignore it and leave it alone. Um, so we're going to go back. So we've done that. There's one last little thing that I want to show you for this video. It's just a basic, a basic um, editor introduction. And the next episode will be constructing the actual league rules themselves to make a functioning league. I'm just going to show you how to create a league. Rules, add nations, now, if you want to modify an existing league, add lower divisions and cups to existing structures. If you want to create a brand new one, create new one. Now, you have current nations or other nations. It can be really hand to fill out all these other nations. If you want to replace a nation already existing, current nations. So we're going to go Ireland. Next settings. Okay, so the season update day. The season update day is the day where it goes from, usually when you look at a league table, it'll be like full, you got your 38 games played, it's got the points. The update day is the day where that resets and new fixtures are generated. So we're going to have this for June 2nd. And then the season dates are the beginning and the ending. So all cup competitions, all league fixtures, all playoffs, and including, um, uh, no, not, not pre-season. Pre-season is before, but it's pre-season. Um, this is basically the date that kind of like, it's they're the ends, the constraints. So... 8th of August, 5th of May, that's fine. Or 15th of May, that's fine. So now, this changes where we now have a new option up here. Nation rules. You've got your database, Irish lower division, but now you've nation rules. And like I, because I've adjusted this, if you go into rules, I now have convert to advanced rules, test rules, remove rules. Ignore the advanced rules for now. It's just going to get horrendously complicated. Test rules, just test rules. There must be at least one division in this nation. Now, Testing rules is your friend. Testing rules will constantly spit up an error uh, until it'll get to a position where the game will actually run with that file. So I need at least one division. General, we're going to work down towards that uh, uh, division is here. I'm going to work down how things basically work up until then. Nation, Ireland, we've all gone through this. Transfer windows, this is where you can input a transfer window. Um, I, you got your standard. Uh, we all know the standard January transfer window to the 31st. Now, you can put in a day where it'll find the Saturday around that date, or you can leave a blank and it'll find that date. That's important because that's gotten me sometimes. You can make a competition specific, where if you want the top league to have a particular transfer window, or if you want it to be global. Type, standard domestic transfer, foreign transfers, free transfers, domestic loan transfers. These are relatively self-explanatory. I don't feel like I need to explain these. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave that there. 
transfer rules. Um, I'll get into this when I'm actually getting into like constructing a functioning league because for now we're just getting rid of teams that don't have logos. So go to division, add, single division or contain subdivisions. A single division is if there's a single table. Subdivisions is if there's a competition that has multiple competitions within it. Um, a good example would be um, Division 5 of the English um, league system where you have um, uh, Vanarama North, Vanarama South. There, Vanarama North is a subdivision of the, Nan of the Vanarama National League. Another example is the MLS. The MLS is a division that contains subdivisions. One subdivision is MLS East Conference, the other is uh, West Conference. Subdivisions if you want more than one, and I will be introducing you to a subdivision in this um in this editor series so for now we're going to go single division open now these are all the teams these are all the leagues that have active teams in them so um if you were to go like everything is supposed to be in uh yeah irish uh, irish uh, lower divisions it's not here so there's one thing that i forgot to do um actually if you go back to the irish lower divisions here i extinct no oh that's weird um teams so what's going on here? There we go. Type inactive division. I want it to be a domestic division. Competition level one. If you don't put that in, it's just going to give out to you later. So again, test rules. Needs at least one division. Nation rules. Single division. There you go. Lower division. Now I want to check the Airtricity League first division. So that we can have a look at what's in there. Air just League. No, first division is... There we go. Now, I already know what's in there. It's a B team. You have Shamrock Rovers 2. Or if you go in here, if you go to reserve teams, there's that second team. This is a really useful function for if you want to have a B team that's in a competition itself. Again, I'll be unpacking and showing you how to do this properly in later, in later episodes. Division single division open up your irish lower divisions so 651 teams next this is the basic introduction number of rounds i'm going to have one so that means everyone plays each other once substitution rules um read through this once and then you know where everything is if you need it the standard three from seven that's uh, that's what i like personally um three from seven number of uh, promotions zero number of relegations zero because this is just a default match day is the day that it wants to schedule its um, competitions for. This will be updated later when you kind of get into television revenue and things like that. So finish. Now this opens up here again, or if you click into it itself, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move us on here, but I'll be going through this in more detail later. I'm gonna switch this to a group because this has to play 650 games. If I go here, it will it won't have won't have enough uh the schedule isn't long enough to do so but if i switch this to groups number of groups 20 groups it'll now have enough time there you go so what i'm going to do is save as i uh, was at 651 teams so open over to football manager start a new game career if you have nothing in the database editor, it'll just, it'll move you past the screen to like the basic screen, the quick start screen. When this opens up, click this button up here and it, it'll it give you the options of what you want to do. If there's a nation, that means there's nation rules. If there's no nation, that just means it's a database update. So 651 teams, open, click advanced setup. standard thing here but you'll notice this has changed that's usually SSC Electricity League and then uh, Irish First Division now there's just a one here that's a really good first indication that the change is stuck so we're going to go early yeah, none of this matters and the reason I'm doing this is because um, I'm going to show you this is what I do personally because again I'm trying to get rid of those um uh the teams without club logos so while that's loading i'm going to bring us over to database back to clubs um i've got everything open so i'm going to sort by name so take us back up to the very top 
and we feel united. And again, again, I, I want to stress, you don't have to do this. This is just something I like doing because I hate teams without logos. So while I'm waiting for this to load up, because what we're going to do is uh, when we go in, I'm going to show you how to search for every club in the game. Um, if you don't know that it's actually a really handy thing within the, the nation, um, the nations tabs. And we're going to be double checking everything. Okay, this is taking longer to unpack. So I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to come back to you in a second. Okay, okay, welcome back. So what I've done here is I have this open on one screen, the editor open the other. This is just what works for me. You can find a way that works for yourself. You just go through all the malarkey, blah, blah, blah. So you have this screen here. You don't even have to start a manager. Just click view squad on anyone. Click Ireland. Go to clubs list. Sort by the top. Now you'll notice uh, what helps me because that can be very small. Is just go in and adjust the size to say 125. It just helps make it that little bit bigger so that you can kind of see what you're doing and what you're working with. Okay. Come on. Come on, I believe in you. There we go. Okay, so AIB is first. Now you won't see it in there. So what you have to do is if you highlight over, it'll be Allied Irish Bank. So you have to go after Allied, Allied Irish Bank. Remove. Now, like I said, this is tedious. Only do it because you really, really want to. But this is a handy kind of like introduction uh, to how this all works. Look, Abbey Field United. So, and now the reason why I'm walking you through this is because this is good for mass editing. So Abbey Leaks, hold control, left click. Ackle Rovers, Adamstown, Adair United. I don't want Aer Lingus in there, so I'm going to get rid of it. AK United, AK United, All Blacks Ireland, uh, Arctic Celtic, Arklo United. And then remove. Do you want to remove 10 teams? Yes. And then just do that for everything. And like I said, the 600 odd clubs, so it might take you a while. But while I'm also in this stage, see so you Frankfurt IRL. I go in, get rid of Frankfurt, Frankfurt. And then for the six letter name, F Fort. There you go. Just a handy thing to do. Okay, and that's where I'm going to leave this episode off because it's already getting long enough. And it's supposed to just be like the basic introduction for how to systematize kind of like your workflow so that you kind of can move forward with what you're trying to do. The editor, the editor can be finicky. You just, you just have to get used to what you're looking at and get used to all of the different screens involved. Um, so just as a recap, I hope you've gotten something out of this episode. Like if you're familiar with the editor, well then unfortunately you've learned nothing here and it'll be the next few episodes that you'll get something out of. If this is your first time ever going through the editor, the reason I'm walking you through this is because it's about getting familiar with all of the different screens, how they link together. Mass editing is one thing that like that really, really changed my life. I didn't know you can mass edit for a long time. And just like understanding, like there's one thing that I didn't do that I did tell you to do is make sure that you save lots of different versions. Every 15 to 20 minutes, create a version two, version three, version four, version five. So you can kind of roll back and move back. That's probably the biggest tip I can give you. So when we come back for the next episode, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating the first league with kind of like um, detailed league instructions that will actually run. And when you come back, I'm going to have edited down this database down to 340. So the only clubs left in there actually are the ones with logos. So cheers, my friends. Thanks a million for watching this episode. Um, I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next installment. Cheers, my friends. Have fun.